Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark. I'm in the studio with Steve in beautiful Prescott, Arizona. Today we're talking about Final Cut Pro 10 and specifically compound clips. Actually, it's pronounced Prescott, like in biscuit. Prescott. Prescott is a biscuit. Yeah. All Prescott. Right. Prescott. We know yeah. immediately you're from You know I'm an outsider. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we speak in California. That's right. <laughs> so, yes, the intro is we're going to look at compound clips. Okay. And uh, I'm calling this episode the compound clip conundrum. Yeah. <laughs> I like other silly titles, but let, let's take a look at the sequence. You know, everyone that uses Funnel Cut will know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. And, uh, well, let's just look at it. Great. So here I have this little movie. It's three shots. And uh, I'm just going to skim through it. It's this uh, little short film that a friend of mine directed uh, on the biblical character of Joshua. And there's just three shots here. And I'm going to go ahead and but select... Before, I yes. just, can you just explain why are there clips, connected clips on top of his other clips? I was just about to do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to select them and press V so you can see there's the shot without oh, the compositing. Okay. I wanted to give it kind of a, you know, he's there praying, he's talking to God, and he gets, have this like divine kind of glow coming off the... Off the so inside. you have like the sun with a blend mode or something a blend in the corner mode. there? Okay. Yeah, and I also, let me go, in, go into this little clip here. I used one of our RT tools. Oh, so that, act, that connected clip actually was a compound clip. Yes, it or was. Or already is a compound clip. Okay. Right, so this is using our eight-point garbage mat from uh, RT tools ah. um, to, to actually, I didn't want all of the um, orangeness, the, the glow to actually affect the four of them. The whole thing, I see. So Great. So back to compound clips. Well, I'm sitting there in the edit bay with the director, and he's like, well, that's great, but I'd like to do a dissolve from this shot to this one, okay? I would I'd like this to be one shot and then do a soft dissolve. Okay, so that's uh, easy, easy enough. I select the clips, and I hit Option G, and Compound Clip dialog comes up. I'm going to call this uh, Josh Compound Clip. How's that? Okay. And I'll go ahead and click OK. So now I have a compound clip. So now all those clips are condensed into essentially one clip, so you can cross dissolve between one to the next. Okay. Presumably. Presumably. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to select the edit point and hit Command T. I can tell right away. You, it's well, red. How can you tell? It's red. It's red. <laughs> and that tells me it's not going to work. Right. Well, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and okay. do it anyway, okay. just for um, yeah. academic purposes. So look at that. Uh, it says there's not enough media. Uh -huh. So just confirming that if I want to do the transition. It could do the transition, but it's going to have to make a compromise. It's going to have to shorten the project by whatever, a second. And even those original clips inside the compound clip did have extra handles. Once you put them in the compound clip, you lose access to those handles. Yes, and that's one of the things about a compound clip that a lot of people new to Funnel Cut are frustrated by. They don't, they don't get it. So I get a lot of emails. How can I can't, I can't resolve? How can I can't trim a compound clip? Yeah. Well, let's look at how to get around that. So uh, okay. hence the conundrum I Great. referenced earlier. And here so, are the solution. Right, so I'm going to click Cancel. And I'm going to go into the compound clip by just double clicking, right? Mm -hmm. And here we are. Now, this area here is what we're seeing in the parent project. But I have all this area out here where there could be some handle frames, although you wouldn't know that. I mean, I could sit here and grab, I could pull that out. Uh, Look, and you could frame. create handles, yeah. Right. I've always found it interesting that there's an actual out point in the Final Cut Pro timeline. In the compound clip, I see, yes. yes. You know, the, the old style out point marker from Final Cut Pro 7 days. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, so what I need to do is extend the tail of this so I can get more handles, so I can do that dissolve that I wanted to do. So I could select the clip and I can. I think we can drag the tail out, or I could select it and hit Control D, and I could type out four seconds, and there, there's my handle material. And we have a problem again here. We have another compound clip. Again, using my, my uh, reference point, the, what I said earlier, a compound clip is relegated to just the material from which you, when you initially created that compound clip. So I gotta go in, the, in here and extend these out, but in this case, I'm just gonna select both clips, Control D, Type in uh, four seconds, hit return, go back one level. Okay? Back, back in the timeline history. Back in the uh -huh. timeline history, and now you see I have. Now you have. Now you can extend that one out. Okay. That's right. Now I'm going to go back to the parent project, mm -hmm. and you'll notice here. Now I have. I can select the and edit point, and it's yellow instead it's of yellow. red. Okay. And you'll. <laughs> one thing I don't understand is when you're using one of our plugins, it always puts the thumbnail of our icon on the image, it, right, or, right. That's yeah. a function of how titles work in Chronica right. Pro 10. Point is, I can now select the edit point, hit Command T, and do a dissolve, and it's not going to make a compromise. In the, Fabulous. Right, yeah. So I'm gonna play this back, and now I have my nice little glowy, you know, uh, orangey effect in the frame, and it does a nice dissolve to the medium shot right. of Joshua there. 
So by default, compound clips are not aware of the media that extends beyond the range you use to create them, even if the media is there. So That's you need right. to manually go into it and extend them if you want to uh, ripple roll, add a dissolve, something, Transition. anything I, that uses handles. Yeah, I wish they'd actually function more like a clip where yeah. Final Cut would just understand that there's yeah. more media there. So you could but, slip and slide it and... Uh, yeah, so right that, that's a big one because people this, are like, yep. I, I, can't, I can't do this. Well, now you have to go into the compound clip and extend yep. it. So. That's, that's a good uh, way to understand a gotcha that happens there. Yep. Awesome. Absolutely. Great. Steve, thank you. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio. Please check us out on rippletraining.com. Uh, like us on Facebook and follow us at, uh, on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks.